Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this makeup look right here using a lot of NYX products and a few other products. But before I edit this, guys, I'm going to go out and take my motorcycle for a ride. If you guys don't know, I have a Honda CBR Repsol. She is a beaut. And it's so beautiful and sunny outside today, so I'm going to take her out before I edit this video, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the 2016 Face Awards entry. This is going to be my entry for, of course, the next Face Awards. I wanted to do something showcasing my ability to do a beauty makeup along with a special effects makeup. This special effects makeup is something very easy, something beginners can do. It only takes a few products and a few eyeshadows to do the whole makeup look. And really I use a lot of the same products to complete this makeup look so it wouldn't cost you an arm and a leg to do this. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And be sure to watch out to see if I get voted or nominated to be part of the next Face Awards. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, so to get started we're going to take our NYX eyebrow gels. I'm using the chocolate and the dark brown, dark brown on the end, chocolate through the middle and at the front. We just want to really create that ombre brow so you start at your arch working your way out to your tail. Don't go too far outside of your brow line or that will make it look a little um, not natural and you want it to get lighter in the front. I do square off my eyebrows in the front because I like the way it looks, but I make sure to really work the spoolie in to blend out any product to make sure it's not looking like Lego eyebrows or um, too much. And I'll go in and soften that up with the spoolie and with my finger, as you guys can see, just blending everything through. Next I'm going to be taking a nude eyeshadow base and I'm going to be placing this all over the eye the mobile eyelid and up to the brow bone. You can use this to clean up your eyebrow, but I don't really like to do that. And we're going to use this NYX face, this NYX contour kit for a lot of what we're doing today. We're using the two medium shades as our crease transition color. We're then going to use the white highlighter for the brow bone to really make that really tight and intense. This color is way too light for my skin, but it's perfect for my brow bone. Next, we're going to be taking the NYX Black Bean Cream Pencil, Eye Pencil, and placing this on the outer, outer half and corner of the mobile eyelid, not bringing it up too high because we're going to blend that out next with a little tiny baby crease brush and making sure to not really work that product in too much but kind of blend out that line. Next, we're going to take a matte eyeshadow, place this all over where the cream was at to make it easier for blending and it's going to help it stay all day. Taking a pencil or a brush with no product on, blending that out. You really want to blend this product and get it worked in there because it's going to just create a really harsh line if not, but don't use any extra product with it. Next, we're going to be taking the Silver NYX Eye Pencil for the inner half and corner of the eyelid to really give it a bright pop of color in the center. We're going to take this white shimmery eyeshadow, any white to silver eyeshadow will work and place this over top. You want to set these to make sure they don't crease throughout the day. In the pencil we used earlier, we're not going to add any product and we're going to use the clean side to kind of pat those two colors together so there isn't a harsh line creating this between the silver and the black. Next, taking that blending brush once again and the key to any good makeup look, to, look is blend, blend, blend. Then taking these two dark shades and we're going to repeat all the steps on the bottom. Taking the dark brown, blending that in, and then the matte black, blending that in and placing some more on top because why not? And then the silver is going to go in the inner corner and on the middle of that and set everything with the corresponding color. Next we're taking a makeup wipe to give us that nice harsh sharp line. I don't like using tape, it's a little bit too abrasive, but makeup wipes work just well. Then we're going to take the NYX Matte Eyeliner Pencil. These are newer. I'm not sure when they came out, but I love it. It dries to a matte finish, and once it's dry, it is not going anywhere. I tried to, like, I just scrub my hand off earlier to get this off of my hand. We're going to apply some mascara and lashes, and that 
will complete the eyes for this look. Any lashes that you use, I went with kind of more of a natural lash. Next, we're going in with the Nivea Men Face Aftershave Balm. And then the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat in Nude. We're going to place this all over the face and blending down into the neck. By blending it down into your neck or onto your neck, you're going to kind of alleviate any harsh lines that you might get if you just stop at your chin. You don't want to look like, we're, like you're wearing a mask. You want this to look like it's your natural skin. Next, we're going to take the NYX HD Finishing Powder with a big fluffy brush and set everything to make sure we don't have any flashback, that it's nice for pictures and photos, and it makes the skin look flawless. And then we're going to go back in with the NYX Contour Palette. See, we're using this look. This palette is awesome for your face, your eyes, your nose, your whatever you want to use it for. And just creating our contour, staying right on our cheekbones. You don't want to go down too far because all that's going to do is elongate your face. So you want to keep it right under and on your cheekbone. And then we're going to take the yellow banana shade and set under the eyes. And underneath of our contour to really bake that powder in and make sure it's not going anywhere and there will be no creases. It's also going to help to clean up your contour line. Then we're going to use, well, board. Borgie's Pig, sorry, I'm so terrible with pronunciation, and place that on. We're really packing that on, and then blending everything out with the fluffy brush we used earlier. And next, we're going to use Curet Lip Liner by NYX, and I like to open my mouth when I'm lining the outer corners because it really helps you get in there deep into the corners so you don't have any harsh lines or anything that might mess up easier and then to make it my lips look a little bit more plump I'm gonna go on the outsides of my cupid's bow next I'm gonna go in with Transylvania um, the matte cream gloss from NYX and do the same thing all over again and boom that's the finished look of our beauty part now I don't really like the beauty let's get into the special effects we're going to take Cinnamon Blush by NYX and we are going to just place this all over the face where we want our injury to be. The skin, if you get road rash or any type of injury, is going to be red and inflamed. So we really want to create that red look. Going back in with that same Cure Red, I believe is how you say it, lip liner. You're going to kind of create where you want your main scars to be. You just really want to deepen up the area so it looks like the cuts are deeper than what they actually are. And a lot of people think, and next we're going to take, um, I'm sorry, next we're going to take some scab blood and some coagulated blood and place that all over the cuts. The scab blood I like using on the cuts first because it gives it more of a deep look. As you can see, the coagulated blood is more of a bright red rather than a deep red. A lot of people think to do special effects makeup, you have to have all of these crazy ingredients and crazy tools and you really don't a little bit of lip gloss and a little bit of blood. You can even get blood like this at the family dollar around Halloween. And a little bit of creativity and imagination can take you a long way. You really just want to place the blood where you would like it to be. I'm going back in with the scab blood now to deepen everything up. If you were to wreck your motorcycle and you didn't have a helmet on, you are going to be pretty messed up. Let's just say you're going to die. So wear a helmet. But... If something happens and you hit your face on a motorcycle or any other type of wreck, you're going to hit the high points of your face mostly and then skid, you know, across the lower points on your face. So the high points on your face are probably going to have more injury than any other area. Your cheekbones, your forehead, your nose, and your chin will be where most of the damage is. So that's where I wanted my deeper scars to be. And then I just kind of got this big old clump of blood that I tried to work out here. Next, I'm taking this Hot Red by NYX, and we're going to put this around the outside of our injury to create a little bit more shadow. And then we're going to take that matte black and do the same thing on the deeper parts and underneath to create that bigger shadow or deeper shadow of the color. And really, this is all up to you guys, whatever you want to do. I didn't really like the way this looked towards the end. I think I needed more I thought I needed more scratches, so I took my spatula, and you can use like the back of a butter knife or the end of a makeup brush, anything, 
and I just kind of scraped through this. Please be careful when doing this because the blood will dry to your skin and it will pull on your skin and your little baby hairs. This is the finished look, guys. Super easy, super fun. You could really scare a lot of people. I hope you enjoy. Please be sure to watch the NYX Face Awards and vote for me if I get it. Thanks for watching. Bye.